Hello boaters, welcome to Narrowboat Journeys. We're on the Staffordshire and Worcestershire Canal and in this video I'm going to travel through the small town of Penkridge. Just coming up is a map of the trip that I'm making today. It's not on screen for very long so please pause the video if you want a closer look. We're starting at the top of the map and ending up at the bottom of the map and in the process we'll be going through three locks as we travel through the town of Penkridge. Unfortunately, over to the left we have the ever-present noise of the M6 motorway. It does diminish a bit as we go through the town, but it's always there. I personally couldn't live with that all the time. Penkridge is to the right of this bridge, and if you've got a bike, this is a good way to get there. Um, it's not very far at all, and that road we're just going under is very quiet indeed. This is the first lock of the day, Longford Lock. All of the locks along here are actually quite deep, and I found that they were generally really quite leaky as well, not in the greatest uh, of condition. So we're now approaching the outskirts of Penkridge and generally speaking if you want the shops they're mostly over onto the right hand side of the canal, towpath side, and on the left it's mostly residential areas. There's a number of useful shops in Penkridge. It's got two co-op stores, one at either end of the town, which is handy for us boaters. Uh, there's a small Sainsbury's, which I didn't find was very useful. Uh, there's about four charity shops and numerous other places as well. I would say that the easiest way to access most of the shops is to moor up along here or somewhere just beyond here and then cross over at the next bridge which is by Penkridge Lock and then the shops are over to the right. Quite a lot of moored boats along here probably for two reasons. One is the proximity to the town centre and the shops as I've already mentioned and also just up by the next bridge and the lock there's a pub. But look how narrow it is along here. I wouldn't like to boat through here when the canal is busy.
Penkridge Lock is immediately on the other side of this bridge. Um, if you cross, go up onto the road and turn right, it takes you to the town centre. And right here we have a pub. What else could a boater want? Actually, I think I'd prefer peace and quiet from the motorway, really, if I think about it. Now, so far on this canal, boaters' facilities have been very few and far between. But here, at last, we have them all. Elsand water and rubbish disposal, just there on the left. You'll need your waterways key to access them. This is Phylance Lock, and as you can see it's another quite deep one. The problem I had with this lock was that the lower lock gates here were leaking so badly that when the lock was full of water I still couldn't open the top lock gate because it never actually quite got there. In the end I had to like open the top paddles wide open just in to be able to open the gate at all. It was a real struggle. This is an early morning cruise. Looks like the kids are just off to school by the look of things.
Just up ahead here is bridge 83A, which is Cross Keys Bridge. And if you turn right at this bridge, about half a mile down the road, there's a large co-op store, which is quite convenient for us boaters. So we're coming to the other edge of Penkridge now. Over on the left we have new modern housing which has been recently built, but on the right it's open fields. My plan was to moor up close to here and then head on down to the co-op store to stock up on a few supplies before continuing my journey. So this looks like a nice little place to stop. So I moored up here for a couple of hours before continuing. Meanwhile, however, it's time to let the cats out. The journey of course will continue in the next video, so thank you very much for watching. Please hit the like button if you've enjoyed this video, and uh, I will see you next time.